Hello everyone. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Chia Chin, Joseph. Hi, thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks for watching. Today, a bit of uh, delay because uh, I have some um, renovation ongoing outside at the... My work, uh, the outside. They are doing a lot of painting and all that. Okay, we will give ourselves a few minutes for more people to join us before we start straight uh, to talk about this. Give us a moment. Uh. This is the second time we are doing our live. So uh, today we are going to talk about Tian Lu. Uh, I created a room. I created a chat room earlier. So now, now, now because at 8 p.m. So a lot of people are joining into the, the, uh, the room. Uh. So we will use this live. Okay, my apology if, uh, if you are confused. But no worries, we will try our best to see what can be done. Huh? Okay. My apology if uh, you are confused. Okay. Wow, so many people come in. Good evening, everyone, once again. Thanks for joining us. Let me adjust my stuff a bit. Okay, today I'm more comfortable already with this uh, live. I hope you are watching and you can learn something from uh, this session. So, I would like to request that uh, if you have any question, if possible, we try to uh, keep it to the end of this uh, live, which will be between 45 minutes plus minus, maybe it might end slightly earlier or it might end about 45 minutes to one hour. Okay? I wish uh, all of you had your dinner and now we can actually uh, move in to talk about Tian Lu. Oh, I see a lot of people joining. Hello, Wan Sang Hao, everybody. Today I have something nice to show you all. Ah, I have a dragon. Okay, dragon. On top of the dragon is, you know who? You all know who is this guy standing on top of the dragon? Nice, huh? This dragon has a big pearl, long zhu. Okay, why am I bringing this uh, dragon up to show all of you? Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, now we have uh, about 27 people joining us, right? Yeah, so we have 27 of us here. I'll start introducing uh, Tianwu. Okay? Good. Oh, a lot of people are still coming in, they are watching. Okay. Okay. Let's start the topic now. It's already 8.15, so uh, we will proceed on. Okay, this is a dragon. I believe all of you, most of you know what's a dragon. All of you know what's a dragon now, okay? However, this is the Ang Moling. Ang Moling. This is the more towards the Western style dragon because it's carved by a Japanese. 
Okay, and the the person standing on top is Zhu Ge Kong Ming. Zhu Ge Kong Ming, Zhu Ge Liang. Okay, he's a very powerful uh, advisor during the ancient China time. Now, the most important thing is not about Kong Ming or Zhu Ge Liang. We are talking about dragon. The dragon has nine sons. The elder son is called Dragon Tortoise, Long, uh, Long Kui. So, he's, uh, Long Kui is very powerful, it's very big, it's very huge, it's very strong, it's very stable. However, it's not so agile. So, it is more towards for uh, placing at a place where, uh, for example, your office, Okay, where uh, your, your, your business or your job is more towards uh, shipping, towards uh, anything that touch the water. Because dragon tortoise actually can um, be more suitable with conditions such as uh, water. So the other sun, some of them are found in the temple. If you temple, if you see a very big, Urn, Xiang Lu, Xiang Lu. So beside the Xiang Lu, there will be two mystical creatures that looks like a dragon. Actually, it's not a dragon, it's the son of the dragon. Okay, it's one of the sun. Some of the Chinese, ancient Chinese sword also have a carving of an animal inside. This is also another son of the dragon. If you see those ancient temples or uh, some parts of Zijing Chen on at the rooftop, there are some mystical creatures on the rooftop. That is another son of the dragon. So the dragon in total has nine sons. So the Tian Lu itself is the number nine son of a dragon. It is the younger son, but it's the most powerful. Why I say it's the most powerful? Because in terms of numerology, nine is the most powerful number of a single digit. For example, we calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So after 9, we will be actually going to a digit of 10, which consists of 1 and 0. Okay? Then followed by 1, 1, then 12, 1, 2. So 9 is the most powerful single digit uh, in numerology. So the ancient Chinese emperor, they are also known as Jiu Wu Zi Zun. The supreme number nine, the supreme. So he's the most powerful person in China, Jiu Wu Zi Zun. If you if you go to Thailand, you go shopping, you go to Platinum, Mabung Kong or Chatuchak, and in fact, almost everywhere in Thailand, you will see a lot of numbers ending with nine. For example, the T-shirt, the shirt, and everything, they have a digit of. 199 baht, 299 baht, or 399 baht. They use the number 9 because it is very powerful. So they hope that in their business, they can also have power in business, have earning power, has the power to sell their product, and so on. So number 9 is a very powerful number, and Tian Lu is the number 9 son of the dragon. So it's a very powerful mystical creature. Now Tian Lu is also a Si Bu Xiang. Now I go back to the dragon. Let me show you the dragon again. The dragon has the horn of an antelope. The, the body of a snake is so long like a slimy snake. Its claw is like an eagle. The, it has the scale of the fish, Yiling. So this is known as Si Bu Xiang. So what is Si Bu Xiang? Si Bu Xiang in English that means is hybrid. Okay? It is hybrid. It's something like 
uh, it belongs, it has the characteristic of a snake, it has the characteristic of a eagle and so on. Just like the transformer or oh, everything cut together. Okay. Now, of course, when it gives birth to the son, the son also part of Si Xiang. So the elder son, Long Gui, is, it has the body of a tortoise and the head of a dragon. So, the number nine son, which is the Tian Lu, or we also call it as Pi Xiu. Later, I will explain why is it called why why is it called Pi Xiu and why is it called Tian Lu. So, this Tian Lu has the characteristic of a dog and a lion. So, it is the characteristic of a dog and a lion. So, it is the characteristic of a dog and a lion. Meaning that it belongs to the characteristic of a dog and a lion. It has the loyalty of a dog and the bravery of a lion. So during the ancient Chinese time, even during the, especially during the Sun War, during the Warring State, they used a lot of Tian Lu, which is known in China as Pi Xiu. So what this Pi Xiu do is actually it helps to protect the the motherland of China. In Chinese, it's known as Zhen Zhong Tu. That means to Zhen Zhu Na Ge Zhong Tu, to protect the motherland, to protect the land of the uh, emperor, as well as the land of China. So, during the Warring State, because this Pi Xiu or Tian Lu, as we know it as, it has the loyalty of a dog and the bravery of a lion. And when they go out for war, during the warring state, Zhan Guo Shi Dai, they actually go for war between countries. So when they go for war, if you watch a Chinese movie, those ancient war movies, you will see that if Cao Cao, the, the, the flag will be Cao Cao's surname. You see, Lü Bu, then it will be Lü Bu's surname. Besides these significant flags, there will be also the flag of Tian Lu. This flag of the Tian Lu will charge in the front line. So there will be a few flags charging towards the the front, towards the enemy. So the foot soldiers will also be charging towards the enemy together with the flag. So when they do the war cry and they you know fight with the enemy, they see the Tian Lu. They actually have this sense of loyalty, the sense of bravery, fighting spirit. So they believe that wow, I can do it. I will destroy the enemy. So with this, it became something that is of significance during the warring state. And the emperors also use this. Tian Lu. You see the Chinese movie Ci Bi or whichever movie, as long as Chinese movie, even Korean movies, if you see Huang Gong, if you see a, a, a this a, what you call it? Uh, sorry, Huang Gong is a palace. So sorry. Okay. Yeah. Suddenly the wire stopped. Okay. Uh, the palace. If you see a palace, you will see two mystical creatures standing outside. Even inside. It is different from the stone lion. The stone lion is one with a, uh, the leg on a, on a ball. The other one with a leg on a smaller stone lion. So that one is Si Si stone lion. Now we talk about Pi Xiu is one pair on the left and right side of the palace. So, for this Tian Lu is to guard the emperor's palace, to guard the wealth. So besides using for war, it also has this ability to attract wealth and retain and protect the wealth of the emperor. So during the ancient time, only the emperor is allowed to keep or to have a 
Tianwu. Subsequently, his brothers, sisters, uncles, and all that, Huang Shi Jiazhu, the royal family, are allowed to keep uh, Tianwu. Before that, only the emperor. Just like the dragon, only the emperor's robe, Ta the Long Pao, Si Wu Zhua Long, is a five claw dragon, just like this dragon. It has five claws. Okay, look here, okay, there's five claws. So, only the emperor's robe can have the dragon with five claws. If the emperor's younger brother, elder brother or uncle, if they are found to have a rope in the house, in their own house, with the dragon that has five claws, straight away chop the head. Their dragon only four claws, si zhua. So one claw lesser, so not so powerful as the dragon. Because the dragon is the might, mightiest, the, the biggest. So, for Tianlu, it is a different concept altogether. Only the emperor can have Tianlu. Then subsequently, it goes down to the royal family. Then, many many years down the road, even those people who are very rich, those who own very big land, or they have a relationship with the royal family, subsequently then it went down to the commoners, to the more wealthy one, and to the commoners, until today. So, this uh, dragon as well as the Tianlu has a very very long history. Okay, so we have already discussed about the origin of uh, Tianlu, which is the number 9 son of the dragon, and also it belongs to the characteristic of a dog and a lion. These are the things that are important. To share with you. So, what is next? Why is it called a Pi Xiu or why is it called a Tian Lu? In China, it's known as Pi Xiu. Pi means the Gong, the, the male one, the Xiu means the female one. So, Pi Xiu means the male and the female. The male will go outside and attract the wealth, the female one will stay at home to protect the wealth. This was the initial part of uh, Chinese history about Pi Xiu. So, later on, they also subsequently reduced to one. That means Pi Xiu means one, one piece instead of one pair. In Taiwan, it's known as Tian Lu, the male one. The female one is known as Bi xie. Bi xie is to avoid or to xiang. Bi xie. To xiang evil, to avoid evil. Okay. Now, the male one called Tian Lu is being placed in the home of a person or family uh, of those people who are alive, just like us, or placed in our business office. The female one, Bi xie, is to be placed to guard the ancestor's tomb, grave, fen chang. So they have different uh, usage. So normally for us, we will want to have a Tian Lu because our house is Yang Zai, we are living in the house. So we need a Tian Lu, which is more proper. Now who will actually want to have a Bi xie at home or at the office, in, actually, actually in fact at the office. There are some people who actually uh, use Bi xie for other things. What kind of other things? Pian men. Pian men means those not so uh, orthodox uh, business. Some of them they will want to keep one Bi xie for them to use. but. To me, I will not recommend and I will not support this kind of uh, things. So, I don't have Bi Xie. Now, what's the difference between Tian Lu and Bi Xie in that case? A lot of people will ask. Tian Lu 
is a male one. Now I have a Tianlu with me. Look at this. Now if you see the back of the head, here, there's a horn. This is the male one. So I don't have a female one, I cannot show you one Tianlu without horn, the female PCA without horn. So if you see that the head does not have this horn, okay, this one, then it's a female one. So if you want to buy a Tianlu, if you are interested in getting a Tianlu, you should take note of the horn. Now, there are two parts here, which you see on the left and right. These are not the horn. These two pieces are not the horn. Only the center piece is the horn. This piece is the horn. These two are the ears. Okay? So if you see from here, on the back is actually the ear on the left and right and the horn at the center. So, take note of this. Don't, don't get the wrong piece uh, here and place in your home and think that it's actually a Tianlu. So, Tianlu Zhen Yang Zai, Bi Xie Zhen Ying Zai. So, for us, we should get a Tianlu. Okay, so far, so good. Can I see people when they like my post uh, or my live? Because I see from here, I see a lot of people watching. Oh, so far got 50. To me, it's a, it's a very good thing. Oh, I saw the light already. I saw some, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw something blue, blue flying around here and there. Okay, I saw already. Thank you, thank you. No need to light already. Wow, suddenly so many. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, thanks uh, Joseph. And thanks everybody, uh, every one of you. Uh, last week, I have feedback that I keep on uh, saying hello to all of you, one by one. Okay, uh, today I don't think I will do that, but I will know later when I watch the live, I know uh, who like and who... Wow, oh, now suddenly so many likes. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Kao liao, kao liao, kao liao. Wow. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, welcome all of you. So I have talked about this uh, male and female. Tianlu PCA. So, a lot of people are asking, so what's the difference between Pi Xiu and Tianlu? Pi Xiu is the name they use in China. Tianlu is the name they use in Taiwan. I always like to use this roti prata thing. So a lot of people who knows me will know that I sell roti prata also. Right? So, in Singapore, roti prata. Malaysia, Roti Chennai. Thailand, Roti. That's it. Everything is the same. You go to Thailand, you see the same Roti Prata, but you use the milk, chocolate and all that. But it's still got banana inside. So in Singapore, you have banana prata. In Malaysia also the same. So, Pixiu is China. Taiwan is Tianlu. Hong Kong is Peiyao. Peiyao if I'm not wrong, you convert it is Pi Xiu. Xiu is Yao, Yao Sik the Yao, Pei Yao, something like that. Okay, good. We have talked about the origin of a Tian Lu. Okay, have I missed out anything? Yeah, okay, uh, sorry, I uh, have my guys to actually guide me along so that I don't uh, move until don't know where. Okay, so what is the purpose of putting a... Ah, yes, 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 Zi uh, Hao, I saw this, but Pichu is a pair, Tianlu is only one, only the male. Yes, exactly. Yeah, thanks for re reminding me. Now, I mentioned early on that the Tianlu has the characteristic of a lion and a dog. 
So if we watch uh, National Geographic or those uh, Animal Kingdom movies, okay, we actually will notice that wild dogs, they have leader, alpha, alpha male. Lion, the lion also have the Lion King. We watched the Walt Disney movie, Lion King. So, lion has alpha male. Dogs also have alpha male. So when you have this alpha male, if you put one pair, if you put one pair of the same size, two, two ten loop of the same size. So, which one will be the alpha male? Because both of them are male. So the initial part where Chinese culture said that or oh, Pishu is male and female, left leg, right leg. They finally realize that hey, actually both are male. So if both are male and they are activated, they are supposed to be alive. They have the power. So both of them are the same size, they will fight. They will fight to see which one will be the alpha male. Just like the lion, the older lion, which is the alpha male, will subsequently be challenged by new lion. When they grow up, they become strong, they fight the alpha male. If they lose, they will run away from the pack. And the alpha male will continue to breed and continue to take, take control of the herd, of the, of the pack of lions. So one day, the alpha male becomes weak and old, a younger one come in, more stronger, defeat the alpha male. The alpha male either die or run away. This new male will become the alpha male. So if you put two tianlu of the same size at your home or at your office, something will happen. They will fight. So after so many years of uh, understanding tianlu, experiencing about tianlu, finding out so much things about Tianlu. It is better to put one piece at home if you are starting with a Tianlu, just one. Again, if we go back to Taiwan, the male is a Tianlu, the female is a Pi Xie. If you put one pair, means one is Tianlu, one is Pi Xie or what. So, logically speaking, you can start with one piece. Now, if you have other consultant that actually tell you, no, 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 you must buy one pair. Right? You must buy one pair. You cannot buy one piece. Now, as a businessman myself, I will want to sell you one pair. Because I, every time I sell one piece, if I sell one pair, I earn double. But, we have the understanding of so we will only sell you one piece. Most of our customers buy one piece. Because we tell them one piece is enough. Good one, one piece is enough. And then what happens? Some of my customers come, they will actually say, Oh, my Feng Shui master or my consultant advised me to buy one pair. I said, I'll be glad to sell you one pair. Definitely. I can sell you one pair, of course I want to sell you one pair. But I would suggest that you get both pieces of slightly different size. One is slightly bigger, the other one is slightly smaller, so that they won't fight. The bigger one will be the alpha male. So this solves your problem of your, your Feng Shui master or consultant asking you to buy one pair, you can still buy one pair. or you listen to this uh, life after that, you think that yeah, one piece, good one, one piece is enough, then you are fine. Okay, so one piece, one pair, it all depends on how you view it. For me, one piece, enough. Now you can have many, 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 many pieces. You can have 100 pieces of Tianlu in your house. You have to have one piece that is the biggest. Later, if I have time, I will bring you to my showroom 
I will show you the biggest piece that I have. That one is my Lao Da, my Lao Da Tian Ru. That one is my Zhen San Zhi Bao. Okay, so later I'll show you. Now we talk about Tian Ru first. Okay, yeah. Rest for a while. Very, very chuan. Uh, let me just drink a sip of water first. Not to forget, uh, we have uh, three pieces of pocket size ten loop for lucky draw. Okay. Remember, uh, please help me to like and share. Send us a PM message, private message, either to myself or to Tianlu Jobansi Private Limited's Facebook. Send to us a clip of your sharing. On the 28th of October, 8 p.m. plus minus, we will do a live lucky draw. So those who have shared and posted to us the PM, we will take your name, we will roll it up, we will jumble it up, put it in the box, then I will uh, do a lucky draw. Total three lucky draw. Three, ten, three pocket size ten loop lucky draw. The price is between 68 to 88 dollars per piece. Okay? <clears throat> Okay, thank you so much for your cooperation. So, so far you all got any question or not? If you all don't have question, I will go into how to select a good Tian Lu. What is the uh, requirement to select a good Tian Lu? I think that's important for all of you. Then, there will be two more things I will want to tell you. One, what to give your children that can follow them throughout their life. Two, the most common thing that is happening around the whole world for these few years, at least four to five years. Later, I'll tell you what happened. Okay, Zihao, what if I really got a pair of the same size? Okay, very good question. Now, I, I'm trying my best to, to see, uh, to read at the screen so that I can try my best to uh, reply, reply all of you, okay? Mm. If you have one pair of the same size, what to do next? Two options. One, remove one piece, keep one piece and remove one piece, either you Put it to your office if you have an office space. If not, then we can. Uh, you can also PM me, and I can tell you what to do. Because if it is Kai Guang uh, activated, you cannot just take and then just throw. Or you have one pair. What to do? Buy a bigger piece. All right. Thank you, Ah uh, Yi Sheng. Yeah. If you have one pair already, you get a bigger one. That the, the, the one that you want to get is bigger than the, the two. So one pair means that both of them are the, about the same, uh, the same size. So you get a bigger piece. Then you solve your problem. Otherwise, you remove one, you keep one. That will also solve your problem. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Now, before I go into uh, the selection of a uh, Tian Lu, what to select, what to aim for, or what to uh, be concerned about when you are uh, going to search for a Tian Lu. Okay. Before that, Tian Lu has four main points, important points that you need to know. The four main points are Pi Xie Tang Zai, Na Chai Shou Chai. What's the meaning of this? In English, Pi Xie Tang Zai means it helps you to walk off evil and to walk off bad things from happening. Catastrophes. Now, you can say, oh, I, I have a Tian Lu, but I still fall down the, the drain, I still step on the 
banana skin and I fall down and all that. Yeah, of course lah. Because PCA Tang Zai doesn't mean you won't step on the banana skin and fall down and all that. It means that if you have big issues, it helps you to reduce to medium issue or medium issue reduce to smaller issue. Smaller issue reduce to not even an issue. So in Chinese we call it 大事化小,小事化无 Pixie, warding off evil You mean there are so many evil things flying around? For us to ward off? No Heng heng sui sui, something wants to come into your house Your Tian Lu is a guardian It's a characteristic of a dog, very loyal to the master it has the strength of the lion and bravery to help you to fight off all this evil. So, peace yet, tang zai, warding off evil and bad luck. Na cai, so cai means it helps you to enhance wealth, to, to, to draw in wealth, to draw in wealth that belongs to you. Now, what's the difference between drawing in the wealth that belongs to you and drawing in the wealth that doesn't belong to you? A simple explanation. Sorry, if you are destined to have this luck, some people say, Oh, I strike 4D after I invite a Tian Lu. Some people say, I have never strike 4D since I invited the Tian Lu. Not even total $10. What does this mean? It means that during this period of time, you are not destined to have any luck from lottery. If you don't have, the Tian Lu will cannot do miracle and help you to produce. It's not a producer, it's an enhancer. It's, it brings in the luck that, it, that, that is actually yours. It is not a producer of wealth. It's an enhancer. It actually helps you to attract wealth. So if you have a wealth, coming in, in the Chai Fu coming, it helps you to grab. That belongs to you, you will strike the 4D. Just like some of my customers, they strike straight numbers. 0906, straight number, no need to I bet, no need to system bet. It belongs to them. Now what's the difference between if this wealth, this luck doesn't belong to you, this money don't belong to you, it helps you to capture. This means that this wealth is other people want. It belongs to others. It don't belong to you. So by hook or by crook, it gets it from you for you. Meaning it's actually stealing from others. Or borrow along. So it comes with interest. And these are not correct. Tian Lu will not do this for you. You cannot get something from some master and say, oh, this something, I cannot mention names, I don't, I don't think it's right to mention the name of something. Okay? This something will bring you wealth. Within one week, you will get windfall luck, till Tao Piu and all that. Hopefully, this something is uh, orthodox. If it's not, then got problem. Nobody can help you. Everything comes with uh, interest. If it doesn't belong to you, you borrow from the bank, you need to pay interest. You borrow for along, you need to pay interest. Okay? So Tian Lu will help you to attract wealth that belongs to you. And then the best thing about Tian Lu is it doesn't have an anus. Of course, some of the people will say, oh, jialat lah, that means constipated lah. Right now, it can eat, cannot come up. But Tian Lu don't eat Chakwe Tiao or Hokkien Mi. Tian Lu eats wealth, Chai Fu. So when it, it eats wealth, it doesn't put out. It actually transfers the wealth to the master. If you become the master, you own this Tian Lu. The Tian Lu knows that you are the master. It will transfer the wealth to you and it will continue to bring in more wealth. So these are the important points. Pixie Tang Zai, Na Chai Sou Chai, Warding off evil and helping you to attract and protect your wealth. Okay? So, 
everyone is joining in. Thank you so much. Now we will talk about uh, the when you want to select a Tianlu, what you need to look forward to in order to get a good Tianlu. I will adjust the uh, camera lower. Okay, you all can see, huh? Okay, good. Now, the first thing to look for is the head. You see the eye, it should be crafted deeply, nicely. Okay, the eye. both sides the teeth should be sharp and strong the mouth should be wide we all Chinese has this saying you have a strong mouth what will happen if something evil come you see the mouth you see the teeth it lali quack quack run already scared of the Tianlu it is strong it can bite and kill any evil thing that comes along that mean, also means that 最大次次方 means it will help you to enhance more wealth now followed by the horn the horn must be thick and strong It must be thick and strong. Okay, can you see? Yeah. It must be thick and strong. The head from the front and back, it must be big. It must be strong, powerful. Uh, since I'm at the rear, look at the butt round, fat, then can store a lot of wealth. Now wealth doesn't mean that it's US dollar, Thai baht or Sing dollar, SGD. Wealth means a lot of things. Wealth means family health, family relation, uh, career and everything. Chai fu. Wealth is chai fu. It's not only 4D, Toto and all that. Okay? So have a big round but okay. now this is the sound of J. Okay. Strong wings. The wing must be strong. Now, some people ask me, Tian Lu supposed to have wings or supposed to not have wings? Uh, Tian Lu got from three level. He got Air Force, he has Navy. And it has infantry. Hai Lu Kong. In the sky one is called Bi Yao. In the land one is called Bi Xiu. In the water one with the the tail of a fish uh, is called Bi Kan. It's not Pi Kang, I not Bi Kang is Bi Kan. So these are some of the uh, ancient uh, beliefs uh. so with or without wing important or not i don't think it's important because we are living on land if a tianlu can run and fight on land to protect us i think important good enough but of course if he has wings good or not of course uh, got wings can fly man. So with or without wings is actually not a big issue. Okay. All right. So we talk about the selection of the Tianlu. Also, it has a strong tail. A 
strong tail. The, the leg also, the claw, and the front, the chest, big and round. Big, round, chest. So, everything is proportionate. Big head, big chest, big butt, big wings, strong tail, big horn. These are the characteristics you need to look forward if you are looking for a, a Tian Lu. Okay? Outside a lot selling, uh, so you all can actually go and take a look. We are not selling anything uh, for this live session. Uh, if you want, you can have a, 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 this uh, appointment with us. Okay, you can contact our staff, we can uh, meet you at the office for an obligation free discussion. The reason why I want to do this live is to actually help all of us to understand more about Tian Lu. Okay, so uh, have I missed out any questions? It's now 45 minutes, we are right on time. We have two more things to discuss. I will pause for 30 seconds to talk of, uh, to, to let you all digest all this information and if you have questions, we will answer one or two questions before we proceed. Thank you all so much. Huh? What bunny big butt? Yes. <laughs> Buddy Adrian, my little xiao xiao ho, see me sounds bunny big butt. Tua ka cheng ma, tua ka cheng is big butt, right? Okay, thanks everyone for watching. Now, since there are no questions, thank you all for your cooperation. Uh, you all know that. Uh, when you follow this live, I very concent concentrated on talking about Tian Lu. So, if you listen, you will, you will find out that actually most of your questions has been answered. So, I'll talk about this, uh, this thing called Tian Lu Seal. Tian Lu Seal. This one a bit translucent, so the the uh, details you can't see very clearly. Now, what is this Tian Lu seal for? This Tian Lu seal, the Tian Lu itself, I won't explain. I have explained earlier on what is the meaning of Tian Lu. The Tian Lu seal is a symbol of authority. Of authority. Okay, I don't carry this. Uh, this Fei Zai very heavy. I carry a smaller piece. Ah, this one smaller. I can use one hand. I can bring nearer to show you also. Okay. The Tian Lu sits on this cube. In China, it's known as a Tian Lu seal. Yu Xi. Oh, this is Jade. So Yu Xi. Jade seal. Now, what is this jade seal for? It is if you during the ancient the warring state, you need to activate your army. The Ministry of Defense then will have to see the seal in Zhang. You chop, okay, you can activate your army. So it's a symbol of what? It's a symbol of authority. It's a symbol of authority. I just remember I have one more. Uh, this one is mine. Uh. Okay. This one is mine. Can you see? T 
天路风水，你说哎，错。哎 ，is a symbol of authority. Now, since many years ago, there have been this new trend. Ah,、uh, I think at least twenty years ago, when baby is born, after the first month, what happened? They will use the to chi the belly the belly button, okay, and the uh the hair. The first time they they shave the baby hair, they will take the hair, go and make it into mouthy, the Chinese brush, calligraphy uh brush. So they will put it there or to symbolize the children's uh. Uh, for good health, good great knowledge, can write very good, you know all this. Also, they will take their footprint, their handprint, you know, when they are baby first month, when they are born, or take the thumb, the handprint. Consider getting a easy for your children. First and foremost, jet itself is. Able to ward off evil, 欲能够辟邪挡灾 So this has been、uh, throughout history. Carved into a 天路 it protects the child, giving him the authority. When he grows up, when he is young, this thing can be a gift from the parents, which will last forever. Throughout his stage stages in life, the child's the child's stages in life. When he start to grow, he start to walk, start to talk. Protect protection. When he start to go studying, go school, knowledge, because you have to acquire knowledge, then you can acquire authority. If you study hard, you are good in your academic. You have good brain. You have good qual qualification. One day you will command somebody. You will be an authority. So this Yuxi itself, you can get from outside as well. Okay, Carousel or Taobao or wherever. Get a Yuxi for your child. Place it in his or her study table. Don't need to put Wen Chang Ta. Wen Chang Ta is for. Wen Chang Wei. Wen Chang Wei is for study only. Study only. So the best is to have this, so that your child can be protected, can have authority, can have everything. Okay. So we see you have this kind. Okay, this kind you have a lot of pattern, pattern one lah. As long you get a we see. Now, want to carve the name or not? I leave it to you. What you can do is also to place the tu chi and the tai mao. You can also put behind. Then in front, you all can carve something like jing bang ti ming. Okay, so a lot of things you can do about for this uh, bi si. Okay, we are at the final last.、Uh, okay, let me go through that.、Uh. Okay, I have seen one or two question. I will quickly answer it. If those question I cannot answer in time, then、uh, maybe you can message me. I see. Okay, brother Mark Yao. I see many Tianlu has a ribbon tied to the neck and sometimes ancient coin also. Is this a norm? Uh, well, just like human being ah. I see. I also like to wear necklace ah. I like to wear amulet. So wearing something on a Tianlu has no particular meaning. Maybe it's nicer. But you see my Tianlu behind ah. Don't wear anything one. Okay, even my Tianlu seal also don't wear anything. Left leg or right leg got difference. Ah,、uh, 治好 left leg or right leg. Only got one difference: the facing. Right leg will face. Right leg in front will face right right hand side. Left leg in front will face left hand side. Okay, there's no such thing as ah、uh, left leg is 
fee, uh, male right leg is female la. if we are not talking about uh, having one pair of male and female oh, so Tian Lu are all male so left leg or right leg doesn't doesn't make any difference if there okay uh, Jena I if, if there is a slight chip off the Tian Lu at home does it mean it's not effective Liao need to change she's uh, so long already uh, your Tian Lu still okay uh, a bit of chip don't worry, must change. <laughs> uh, you must come today, tonight, you come to my office live, then you quickly change one. Now, uh, jokes aside, don't need to be too worried. Sometimes we get chip off, slight chip, it's fine. If suddenly this Tian Lu crack, this Tian Lu crack, suddenly, if you don't drop it, nothing happens, it cracks. Kick crack drop into pieces congratulations it has helped you to ward off a big issue that is supposed to happen to you or your family so it's okay but if the Tian Lu suddenly crack then the power is not there the power of the jade because it has, it's only able to ward off once the big issue uh, because it cracked okay uh Wow, thank you so many of you sharing. Thank you so much. Okay, I don't see any questions uh, that I need to answer. Most of them I have already answered. Okay. The last thing I'm going to talk about, which is the most crucial thing, is the Tian Lu bracelet. Have you all seen before the Tian Lu bracelet? Or they saw they call it Pichu bracelet. You have one uh, Pichu like this sitting on the the beads. There's one Pichu at the center. Some got two some more. Two Pichu and one ball in the center, then two Pichu on the side. Sorry, uh, I got so many things to show you. But I don't have a Pichu bracelet to show you. Funny, right? Funny, right? I have so many Tian Lu outside my office. I have pendant sized Tian Lu at my display cabinet. But how come I don't have the Tian Lu bracelet? Okay, today what I'm going to say now may offend some people who are selling this uh, Pichu bracelet. Okay. Now, a Pichu is not supposed to have anus because it helps to retain your wealth. So, if you tie it like this, it is still okay, it's fine. Maybe I show you this. This is easier to see. Yeah. Now imagine if you want to put the beads into one round so that you can wear on your hand, just like this. What you have to do? You have to drill a hole from the front of the mouth and drill a hole at the back of the butt or anus or whatever you call it, so that you can you can put a pull the string through it and then put the beads and make one bracelet so that you can wear on your hand like that. Drilling a hole from the mouth into the butt through out, out of the butt is like starte, you know. You starte the whole Tian Lu uh, from the mouth to the, through the butt. How Will the Tian Lu help you to na chai so chai? How to so chai if your the butt is one big hole? So that's the reason why I don't have any bracelet for sales. Since it before it started, since before it started the craze. Now even if you go past any pawn shop, uh, you will see a lot of uh, the Tianlu bracelet 
for sale or resale. Some made of pure gold, uh, the, the Pichu or Tenru itself, a uh, few hundred dollars. Huh? Some Pasamalaman, one, one piece, 10, 20 dollars or that. Now imagine if you Kai Kuang the Pichu, you Kai Kuang the Pichu, the Pichu is here. You wear it day in, day out. Where to work, you wear to work. You touch somewhere and the Pichu follow you touch somewhere. Is it respectful or not? I see with my own eyes uh, that one of these people who actually helped the customer to, to bring, to shift the, uh, to excavate the tomb, uh, to take out the remains of the ancestor, bring it for this uh, cremation, and then bring back to put in the urn at Mandai. I saw with my own eyes uh, this bugger came with the Pichu bracelet on his hand and he's taking the bones, the remains of the deceased. Imagine if the Pichu is activated and it has the power to ward off evil or to do to, to ward off all these things. If he goes so near to the remains of this ancestor, good or not. I leave it for you all to think about it. So this is the important thing. You you don't want your Tianlu to low chai, then you think properly whether wearing a bracelet is good or not. I don't sell doesn't mean no good, but you all think about it. Okay? We have hit about one hour of our live session already. I bring you all out to my showroom and show you what's the difference between the big size, small size, and we call it a date. Alright? Come, let's go. Yeah, here's my showroom. Okay. This is these are our ten loop. Now, when I say big size, small size, let's talk about this. This piece and this piece, both are both of them are twenty five cm. Both of them are twenty five cm. But you can see that this piece is actually bigger than this piece. I I zoom out a bit. This piece is slightly longer. So if this it's like that, both of them are not the same size. This is slightly bigger, this is slightly smaller. Yes, no problem. But if you go for something like this, they are exactly the same in terms of size, in terms of height, nearly the same. Then you will have a bit of issue. Okay, so if you want to buy one pair, maybe you can consider this one slightly bigger, this one slightly smaller. Because ours is 100% handcrafted, so uh, their size will have a difference. If you see this pair, yeah, they are about the same. This one and this one, the height is about the same. So they are one pair. So if not, you choose one piece 30 cm bigger, and one piece, 25 cm, smaller. So you can have this pair. So my own Tianlu, the big boss is here. Uh, it's my big boss. Okay, my Lao Ta. He jaga the main door for me. So uh, because of the the Renovation outside, I have to lock my door. Okay. So these are all the ten loop. Any more questions? Last questions before we end our session? Oh, sorry. Now, this one another one. This one my Lang Sai Ten Loop. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.
Okay, it has been a wonderful hour sharing this uh, Tianlu with all of you. If you all have no questions, then I think uh, I would like to end this session by thanking all of you for your trust and support throughout these uh, 30 over years. Uh, next week, we will not talk about Tianlu already. Enough said already, you can keep this uh, this uh, video or live streaming, you know, and listen slowly and try to get some information. You can also go to my website www.tianlujomancy.com. Inside, I have written many articles about Tianlu, which I already shared with you, and even more details. You can read up the information. It is free information, you can read, you can print it out. So next week, we will be talking about Feng Shui. What are the Feng Shui issues that common people buying house or uh, in their house, what, what they are facing. So we will talk about Feng Shui next week. Okay. Thank you all so much for your time. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Have a good night, sleep well, and sweet dreams. Stay safe, stay healthy. Remember, wear your mask. <laughs> okay, good night everybody. One salute for you. Thank you. Good night.